Hey everybody, I'm Amanda with DevExpress and welcome to our Take a Tour 12.2 series of webinars. Today, DevExpress technical evangelist Paul Usher will walk you through what's new in XAF and XPO for 12.2. In this session, you'll see improved entity framework support, domain components and new security system integration, and easy to upgrade ASP.NET templates, plus much, much more. There will be time for a Q&A session at the end of Paul's presentation, so please enter your questions at any time in the question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Now before we get started, the team here at DevExpress would love to know a little bit more about all of you joining us today. So we do have a couple of poll questions for you. And the first one is what is your current knowledge of XAF? Select one of the following. You're currently a user of XAF. You've done research on XAF and understand it, but you're not using it yet. Or you're hoping to find out what XAF can do. So I'll give everyone just a second to get your answer in. Again, what is your current knowledge of XAF? Currently a user, have done research, but not using it and hoping to find out what XAF can do. Great, so it looks like 25% of you are currently using XAF, about 35% have done research, but uh, have not started using it yet, and about 40% are hoping to find out what XAF can do. Great. And then our next question is, uh, what level what level of DevExpress product do you have uh, currently today? And you can select one of the following. You're a universal subscriber. You're a DXperience enterprise subscriber, a platform subscriber, meaning ASP.NET, WinForm, Silverlight, WPF, etc., or you're not a DevExpress customer. So again, I'll give everyone just a moment to get their answers in. So it looks like 56% of you are universal subscribers, 20% are not DevExpress customers, welcome, and 20% are platform subscribers, and 10% enterprise. Great. And just one more question for you. Uh, what is the most important criteria in purchasing third-party tools? And again, you can select one or more of the following. Price, past experience or usage, advice from thought leaders, bloggers, press, reviewers, etc., cetera, uh, brand or other. And if you choose other, you can enter your answer in the chat box or in the questions box. So again, what is the most important criteria in purchasing third-party tools? So it looks like about 27% or other. Let's see what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley. He says Amanda's videos. I appreciate that. Feature sets, functionality, and about 63% of you are past experience or usage. Perfect. Thank you so, so much for your feedback. These questions really help us shape where we're headed um, in the future into 2013. Um, all right, thank you again, and thanks for joining us. I will now hand things over to Paul Usher. Thank you, Amanda. Good morning and welcome, everyone, to the XAF and XPO tour. So my name is Paul Usher, and I'm the technical evangelist for Asia Pacific, coming to you this morning live from Brisbane in Australia. Today we're going to take a brief look at what XAF and XPO are. And then we're going to explore some of the features in 12.2, finishing up with the question time. So XAF, Express Application Framework, providing out-of-the-box modular architecture. Traditionally, as a developer, we have to take on multiple roles, doing data access design, creating our business logic, creating UI, putting everything together, and presenting the application. With XAF's proven MVC or model view controller approach, you can achieve rapid application development providing both a WinForms and ASP.NET application in a single solution. Development with XAF means easy access to our own ORM engine, which is XPO, and built-in support for over 14 of the most popular database engines, and of course, now support for Microsoft Entity Framework. XAF offers a platform agnostic validation engine, meaning that you can access a large number of rules and combine those or create your own runtime to cover countless business use case scenarios. The auto-generated UI for both WinForms and ASP.NET 
means that your energy is not going to be wasted on designing repetitive forms or code. XF also features a rock solid security model and reporting all out of the box. But the most important thing throughout all this is the fact that you can customize or extend any of the framework. And XAF utilizes all of our controls here at DevExpress, providing a rich user experience. So let's take a minute to have a quick look at one of our sample applications. So simple project manager. We step into Visual Studio. Traditionally, when you're creating a XAF project that targets both WinForms and web, you end up with a project, a solution of five projects. A common module, a Windows module, a web module, and then the framework that brings it together for each of those platforms. We can see that inside our business objects, we've got two classes, project and project task. We could see inside here, we simply define some properties and some validation rules. One thing to note is that the assigned to property actually uses a built-in class type called person. So out of the box, XAF provides a number of default classes, again, to save valuable time. So with very little code, we can produce a full application like this featuring searchable grids, filters can be applied using our extra grid control. We can drill in and see the UI that's been generated for us. At this level, all the plumbing is taken care of. We create a project, straight away we've got access to uh, integrated tasks. But if I press save at this point, we're going to see some of those validation entries come in where the rules that we added into those properties must be applied. Again, we've got the rich user experience. I can drill down and create subtasks. Validation. and everything takes me all the way back. So the person class that we talked about before, out of the box, allows a really nice control that can be extended. No additional work for you as a developer. Now if we take a look and run the exact same project, but this time as a web-based project, we're going to see the same user experience, but this time around ASP.NET. I've got my project grid. I can drill down. I can create a new project. And again, I've got the validation rules that must be adhered to. So you can see it's a very, very powerful and flexible framework, allowing you to focus on the things that are important in project design. So what's new in 12.2? We're going to take a, a little look into the new security system and how domain components have been integrated, the changes to ASP.NET templates, some new tooltip support, and the added model-first support for the entity framework, Sorry. as well as a number of UI uh, improvements to both the object designer and content on our website. For XPO, we've now added a wrap around the MS SQL local DB APIs, made some changes and improvements to the optimistic locking. There's lots of improvements to the ORM data model, and we've added support for OData version 3. 
Now, HPO now ships with the integrated support for the Open Data Protocol v3 using clusters such as Link to XPO, gives full compliance with all the OData standards. Using an OData compatible client to connect to the service, you can do things like build a DXStream mobile application to consume data. And there'll be a little more on this later on. With over two dozen features and fixes to XAF and XPO, a full list can be found on our website under the What's New section. So domain component and system security integration. Back in 11.2, we introduced a new security system. We're pleased to announce that in 12.2, the domain component has now been added as support for that new security model. What we've also done is in, uh, um, update the security demo to show how that works. So we switch over to security demo. By the way, all the demos, whether it's a trial version or a full version, can be found in the public documents under the experience 12.2 demos. And for today's webinar, we're focusing on the Express App framework. And you'll see a list of all the samples there, full source code that you can run and play with. So the security demo will I step through showing how the domain component can be used with that new security system. One of the other cool things that's happened on 12.2 is we've now moved all the main page content for the ASP.NET templates into a pre-compiled assembly. What this means is that there is minimum markup um, in the ASP.NET templates, which won't change between versions. So future updates will not require you to create new applications and be copying information to and from. We've now got additional tooltip support for class members, the list view columns and detail items, and inside the navigation and layout groups and items. Obviously, all our controls have always had tooltip support, but previously you've had to do it inside code. We've now got a visual way of doing that inside the model editor. Of course, if you're using WinForms, you can set the title and also the icon. We've also seen a number of improvements for support on the Entity Framework. Back in 11.2, we released what we call the CTP or Customer Technology Preview of this framework. With 12.2, we're happy to announce that it's in beta. We've added support for both Code First and Model First on the Entity Framework. And if the database doesn't exist, it will be created automatically, the same as we do with XPO. And under the hood, there's been a lot of improvements, and the core XAF framework is now completely independent of XPO if you're using the entity framework. We've also added some new apps which feature the code first and model first scenarios. So if we head back over to Visual Studio, what we have here is the Entity Framework demo module, which is based on our normal full demo. But here we can see we've got the EF demo model EDMX file, which has been generated from the Entity Framework. When this gets run, we've got the familiar XAF scaffolding happening here. We've got the usual drill through all the UI built. If I come down to schedule, we'll see the 4 a.m. start. Create a new appointment. We might call this one sleep. So 
So what I want to demonstrate at this point, there's the new task that's been created. Switch over to SQL Studio and interrogate that database. And we can now see that that is talking directly to the database through that EF support. Now one of the biggest questions we tend to get asked at the moment is, is there any support for DXStream, which is our new HTML5 and JavaScript solution with XAF? And the short answer is not at this stage. However, one of our engineers, Dennis, has put together a really nice scenario of consuming that OData service that starts out as an XAF application out onto a mobile device using a DXStream client. Unfortunately, the URL is quite long, so we shortened it here. That the, the scenario describes the whole process to go through and build that um, service that can be consumed. But hopefully over the coming months, we will see a, a number of other pres demonstrations on how we can interact between XAF and mobile devices. So, with over two dozen internal enhancements in both XAF and XPO, there's lots of new things to be checking out with the XAF framework. Anybody have any questions yet? Uh, from Luke, is the extreme support planned? The, te the, the two different technologies. So, the extreme support is not something I think we're going to see directly integrated with XAF, but we are going to see, like the the, um, the tutorial that Dennis built, ways of it bringing those two technologies to uh, to work together. All right. For more information on the XAF framework, you can head over to devexpress.com slash XAF. That will take you through straight to the product page. If you don't yet have any of the DevExpress tools on your machine, we highly recommend clicking the Try button, downloading a full trial, which gives you access to all the samples and it's a great place to get started. Again, you can reach Paul at paulu at DevExpress, there it is, devexpress.com. Um, is that your Twitter handle, at ushernet, Paul? That's it. Yes, it is. All right. We do have a couple questions that have just popped in here. Uh, from Rolando, uh, is it possible to do custom code generation using XAF, meaning having a, have a class that can create different forms? Rolando, I'm waiting for our XAF uh, team to give me an answer. They're asking, are you asking about custom forms? I mean, the, the, the form generation is based on your class anyway, so... Uh, Rolando, uh, Dennis is saying it is possible as well as customizing default forms and the whole UI is generated by domain classes. Uh, from Luke, how do, ensure, how do I ensure UI consistency across an app? By that I mean same font, color, etc. and can the user change that? Dennis is saying that it's already built in and you can customize it either in code or at runtime, Luke. And we can see here from the one of their demonstrations, we've exposed all the skin styles um, that we ship inside our controls. Being Christmas, we'll give it the Christmas look. Um, that can be exposed to the user, or as a developer, you can just preset prior to shipping your app. Let's see from Orlando. Could I use a custom derived class from the extra grid view instead of the default one? Yes, Orlando, you can. Uh, by the way, we already use a grid view descendant in our grid list editor. So yes, it is possible. All right, perfect. That looks like all of the questions that we have. Again, you can email um, me, Amanda C at devexpress.com if you have any uh, topic or, or webinar questions. You can email Paul uh, for any further discussion on this webinar or you can even uh, email Dennis at uh, dennis at devexpress.com. Thank you all for attending.
<laughs> Thank you, Paul. Um, again, everybody, we have one more take a tour of 12.2 tomorrow with Code Rush at noon Pacific Standard Time. You can register at devexpress.com slash webinars. And while you're there, you can also download and try our universal 12.2 trial for all, all of you that are not universal customers. Uh, you can try it free for 30 days, including um, full technical support, um, access to um, all sorts of goodies for 30 days at devexpress.com slash trial. So again, thank you so much to our presenter, Paul Usher, and to Dennis and the XA, uh, XAF team for all of your help behind the scenes. And of course, thank you all for joining us. Let's see what develops. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>